Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for checking out the Ghost Squared webinar. Um, apologies off the bat for my voice. Uh, it's uh, that time of the year and I've been struck down, but I am in good enough shape to walk you through Ghost Squared uh, and give you a good introduction to the platform. So um, a bit of housekeeping up front. Uh, the webinar is going to take about 20 minutes or so. Um, there's usually a bit of a lag, uh, and I want you to feel free to ask questions, so please do so in the chat widget down below, uh, but feel free to drop them in as we go along, because that way I'll be able to pick them up at the end, uh, but uh, obviously I won't be able to address any of them until the very end. Um, also, this webinar is going to uh, assume that you've got our, our JavaScript snippet installed and our identify method, and that's what's going to allow us to track down to an individual user level. Um, but with that in place, uh, we'll assume you're all set up and ready to go, uh, and I'll crack on by sharing my screen and starting to walk you through our platform. So bear with me one second. Great. Um, so today, mainly, uh, the three areas I want to focus on are um, how GoSquare can help turn your site's visitors into sign-ups, uh, how we can help you convert new prospects into customers, uh, and finally, uh, how you can use GoSquare to delight your customers through exceptional support. Uh, and I'm going to put a, a bit more focus today on uh, showing a few integrations that we have uh, that can help you automate uh, a lot of your processes and, and help, help you hopefully free up a lot of resources. Um, so today, I'm going to begin by showing you, uh, first off, how you can use GoSquare to help turn your site's visitors into sign-ups. Uh, and I think anyone watching will probably agree that it takes a lot of work to get visitors to your site. Uh, so really, uh, the idea is when they get there, we want to give them the, the easiest opportunities to engage with you. And one of the best ways to do that is through live chat. So you'll notice on our demo site here, in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, we have uh, a chat, a live chat widget. Um, with our JavaScript snippet installed, uh, you'll be able to add your own chat widget to the site. Uh, so undoubtedly, this is one of the best ways to turn visitors in, into signups. Uh, it gives your users the opportunity to engage with you in real time. Uh, it provides an outlet for them to ask any questions and gives you the opportunity to address those questions uh, before a prospect uh, leaves your site. So if they click into the chat widget like I just had and type hello, uh, Oh, if I could type it correctly and send. If we jump into our dashboard, uh, our GoSquare dashboard, and we'll jump into Inbox, which will be, Inbox is our centralized platform for all of our, our user communications through GoSquare. Um, so what we can do is uh, obviously just like a, a live chat widget, respond, hello. How can we help? Um, really basic, but what that's going to allow us to do is uh, to respond back to them and start to probe uh, with any specific questions uh, that they might have about our site. Um, so what you'll see uh, off the bat is when a user uh, first starts a conversation with you, we'll create an anonymous profile for them. And why that's really important is that that shows that we start to track users as soon as they land on your site for the first time. So they don't need to be logged in. They don't need to sign up. Uh, but at this point, we're already tracking their actions on your site. Uh, it can give you a really nice uh, view and picture to uh, the common parts uh, to sign up. Um, if we were to jump back into our demo site, uh, you can see another really important thing is that we were able to respond, but at no point did we ask for any information uh, from our user before they were able to engage with us. And we do that on purpose. We've got that set up that way because we wanted to provide the least amount of friction uh, possible for a user to start a chat. But you'll see we have uh, a little pop-up here that if they do uh, want to supply an email address, say you're unavailable offline or they just want you to have it, um, we can pass that in and submit. And actually, this happens probably more often than not. And then if we jump back to our demo site, you'll see that we've nicely stitched together that email address with that anonymous profile. So if we click into our profile and give it a few seconds just to refresh, you'll see that uh, eventually what we'll do, oh, that's because I've put in the wrong email address. Bear with me. Uh, let's go back and do that one more time. <clears throat> If we go in and let's uh, jump in, 
and we'll do this through an incognito window. There we go. So again, do a C, and then we'll jump in and say, and at go grab. Submit. There you go. And you see we've stitched that together, and then it will start to pull in uh, all of James's uh, profile information eventually linked with that account. Uh, and really important because what that's going to show is that when a user does uh, eventually supply that information, we'll stitch all that information together uh, and allow you to have one full path to purchase. So as you'll see on the left-hand side here, uh, now that it's, it's had that opportunity to um, sync, what we do when we grab that email address is we hit a bunch of uh, uh, third-party social APIs and pull back uh, any social information uh, associated with that email address. So. On the left here, you'll be able to see uh, uh, the LinkedIn profiles, the um, uh, Facebook profiles, any other social information that's uh, uh, associated with that email address. And really what it allows you to do is to enrich any of your user information based on that uh, information, which will come in a lot handier uh, when, when we start to look at our people dashboard. So um, now we've got all this information about a user, uh, we're in a much better position to help them out uh, when, when we're chatting to them through live chat. So, you know, through their LinkedIn, we'll be able to know if they're a developer or not. Uh, so we can have a much more technical focused conversation. We might know that they're in marketing, so we can focus uh, our conversation on that area of, of our business. But uh, ultimately, all, all these things do is give you a, a tool to much better understand your users that you're having a conversation with uh, and hopefully allow you to convert them into signups a, a lot quicker. So all of these actions that we track about your users, anonymous or logged in, are aggregated in real time. So if you are to click on your Now dashboard, uh, you'll be able to see in real time all of the users on your site, which gives a lot of valuable data to work with. Uh, and it's here where you can take a step back and look at the data of what's actually driving traffic to your site. So on the left-hand side here, you'll see the top content uh, that, that that's uh, your visitors are viewing right now. So uh, this would be the specific pages. These could be product pages for you. And on the right-hand side, uh, you'll see the, the, the amount of people currently viewing those pages as well. Um, likewise, you'll be able to see the specific sources uh, that are obviously really important for referring traffic. So really nicely laid out to show you the sites, uh, specific search engines, any social channels, uh, or uh, other, other avenues that are driving traffic to your site. Um, and You'll, you'll also be able to see uh, even further from the social side of things, you'll be able to drill down specifically to uh, any type of tweet uh, that's being mentioned about your brand. You, all you have to do is just pop into our integration, uh, type your key search word, and then we'll start to populate that information right away. So if you want to look at that data over longer periods of time, if we jump into trends, um, this will give you the, the scope to view all of that real-time information over days, weeks, months, and years. And what you'll see with uh, trends is, th is that we track up until the hour. Uh, so you'll have all of that real-time information flowing in that will allow you to make more data-informed decisions. Uh, but what's really nice about trends is that uh, we're able to give you an estimate as to how you're going to end up for those key metrics over that period of time. Uh, so in this case, on our demo site, uh, for total visitors, we'd expect for, for the end of the month to finish up at about 360K, which is uh, great. And, and the thing that's nice about this, obviously some other analytics providers uh, uh, enable you to do this. Uh, it takes a bit more setup. Uh, with some others, you can't. But just with uh, trends, it's something you have access to um, right out of the box. Um, Again, some other key things that are quite nice with uh, our, our trends dashboard is if we jump into social uh, and Twitter, uh, you'll be able to see specific tweets that have been driving uh, traffic to your site over the course of that period. And that's really handy for things like uh, any type of content marketing that you're doing. Uh, and if you're pushing that content out over social channels, you can start to see what's working and what's driving people to your, your site. Um, so the important thing really to take out of this is that uh, with GoSquared Analytics, we track all the information that your uh, user take, takes or 
actions that they took before signing up. Uh, so you'll have all that information on hand to improve your sign up process and, and help even further convert more visitors to sign ups. So for example, how many pages of visitors viewing when they're on your site? Are they viewing your pricing page on their initial session? If not, perhaps you could include more pricing details on your page. Um, so those are just a few examples really of how you can use GoSquare to help convert visitors to sign ups. Um, so next, what we're going to look at is how you can use GoSquare to convert new signups or new prospects into customers. So we jump back into our demo site and say James has been quite happy with the conversation, so he's going to decide to sign up. So we'll just type a password if we can get that in correctly. Great. And he signed up, so we'll just jump back to our own page. So we jump back into people now. You'll see that we've stitched all that information together. So now we have a, a true profile of James and all of the actions that he undertook uh, before he visits our site. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, one of the really handy things is uh, because we've enriched all this data and that uh, we've started to track all of the, the events that James has undertaken out of the box. So if you look on the right hand side here, we've already started to track page views, visits, um, uh, or associated it with a, a local ID is if we jump into our people dashboard specifically and everyone, then we're able to use this information to start to segment uh, our audiences. And that's really handy. So to give you an example, uh, we can use events and properties about your users as a way to segment them all based on common attributes. Uh, so what we do or what we call these are smart groups. Uh, effectively because they update on real time based on whenever a new user um, matches these filters. So uh, as an example, uh, let's say we want to identify where our high value users come from, or in our case, let's say users of our demos uh, pro plan. So what we can do is uh, click the gear toggle here. And if we type uh, plans, which would be a property of our user, and we can also type uh, URL. Ooh. We'll say source URL. So this is where they're originating from. <clears throat> You'll see that we were able to add columns, almost like adding columns to a spreadsheet here to see those factors. And then what we can say is uh, what I want to filter by, by clicking the filter tab, is this original source URL. Sorry, that's not what I want to filter by. I want to filter by plans, and I want to say plans that contain pro. So any of my users are on a pro plan, uh, so I can see here. So if I look at the original source URL, I can see that primarily they're coming from Twitter or Facebook. So that can give me a good indication that any new signups I have that come from Twitter or Facebook uh, have the potential to convert into our pro plan uh, users. So what we'll do is we'll set up a smart group now that says, okay, uh, and, oh, sorry, we'll go add URL. So what we want to track is anyone that signs up uh, from Twitter. And what's quite nice with uh, GoSquared is we can use all filters and cast the net a bit wider. Uh, and let's say, uh, bear with us. Which URL contains Facebook. So now I have a smart group of any users uh, that have uh, joined my site uh, from Twitter or Facebook. And I can save that smart group and call it uh, potential high value users, for example. So as I mentioned, what makes this group smart is that whenever uh, a new person signs up and they've come from Twitter or Facebook, they'll automatically be added to this group. Um, and what's really important is that action, a user being added to this group or being uh, removed from this group uh, in, in another situation uh, can act as a trigger to perform uh, an action in another application. Uh, so let's say, for example, uh, I want to be notified uh, when a user signs up that matches these groups, and I want to be notified in Slack because I pretty much live in Slack. Um, so I can, I can uh, get this group to send me a notification to Slack the next time someone signs up and meets a smart group. So 
Uh, I'll do that now to give you uh, an example of how easy that is to do. So what I'll need to do is just head to our integrations page and click services. And so here is where all of our direct integrations will live. Uh, so if you decide to click on Slack, for example, then uh, it will really walk you through the process of how to connect Slack to Go Squared and then how to start setting up notifications. So all you have to do is click Add New. And then I'm going to click up here, Set Up a Go Squared Integration. It might ask me to log in. In this case, I'm already logged in. Uh, and then I just want to tell it uh, a new channel to uh, post to uh, effectively. So what it will post is all of that user's data to our smart group so we can uh, get, get an idea of who that user specifically is um, that, that we, we can choose to engage with through live chat. For this instance, I'm just going to create a new channel and call it Go Squared Demo and create channel. Uh, and then I just click Add Go Squared Integration. Uh, and then we can read through again. It walks us through really quickly uh, and nicely here. But all I really need is from here is this link, which is the hook URL. Uh, and then I will go back to Go Squared and paste this in here. And then we'll call it uh, potential high value users. Save integration. Uh, and then we're connected. We're ready to go. So. <laughs> Now all that stuff to do is just effectively add uh, a new notification. So I just want to tell it to, to post that channel when it matches a certain criteria. And that criteria is going to be user enters a smart group. Uh, I'll be able to pick that smart group. And then I just say I want it in Slack. So good to go. And, and that's, that's it, really. So as soon as that, a new user matches that smart group, what I'll effectively get is uh, a, a message to my, that Slack channel, and I'll be able to click right through and start a live chat conversation with them and just see if they need any help uh, or have any questions about our product or service uh, as they're going through the onboarding process. And that's a really, really helpful way just to inform potential customers and, and make sure and remove any roadblocks that might stop them from begin, becoming a, a paying customer. Now, for people who may not log in that often, so they might sign up and they might, uh, for example, just receive reports from you, uh, what we can do is send them an e email in that instance. Um, so, for example, we might want to send them an email of features that they could get a lot of value out from their trial. So to do this, we can do it with, uh, we can set up our Drip integration. So Drip is a really nice, really lightweight, easy to use uh, email automation provider. Um, and they integrate great, really uh, seamlessly with us. Uh, so all we need to do is walk through a really similar process. So if we are back in where our integrations live and we'll click on project settings and services and connect drip, and uh, then we'll click connect again. It will ask us to log in or authorize. So we'll click there and we'll just authorize that. And then we're connected and, and we're ready to go. So what I'll just need to do is head to Drip. Uh, get drip. Drip. See, it's a new one. Uh, just log into my account here, and then I'll just select automation. And so what we can set up is we can set up complete workflows that we want that user to go through. In this instance, just for the sake of time, I just want to set up a, a new basic rule. Uh, so I'll click New Basic Rule. And then we're back where all we need to do is just select the trigger that we want to uh, trigger this uh, rule and the action that we want it to pr provide. Uh, so if we select a trigger, and it's going to be performed uh, an action in another application. And we'll say which provider. In this case, it's going to be Go Squared, obviously. And uh, which event. And we'll say Enter the Smart Group. And we're going to. All we need to do is pick the uh, smart group name. So here we'd call it, you can just go back and check in, but it's potential high value users. Uh, so we'll just type that in. And so this is basically going to do the exact same thing. As soon as a new user matches that smart group, this information or that, that user's information will get sent to Drip. Uh, and then what we'll want to do in this instance, you've got a lot of options, but we'll just say we want to send uh, a one-off email, uh, which is here. And we'll say, just type in the body, thanks for signing up. And we'll say, hello. 
uh, did you notice our new feature? So you get the idea there. Um, and then all we need to do is just click save the rule uh, and save the email. And uh, we're set up and, and we're ready to go. So now, as soon as a new user matches that group, uh, they'll automatically be pinged an email uh, to let them know about new features, uh, which can hopefully help them uh, sign up and convert a bit quicker. One other integration that I'll show you as well, which is quite nice and one of the most common ones uh, that we use is uh, Zapier. So Zapier, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, effectively acts as a, a middleman uh, between uh, people like Go Squared uh, that can provide a trigger uh, and people like, uh, for example, uh, Google Sheets who can perform an action. But Zapier has over 500 different people uh, or uh, providers that can perform that action. So really, there's uh, hardly any limits to what you can actually achieve when you use uh, Zapier. So one, one of the most common things we get asked for a lot is that people may, for example, want to have a, a, a real-time report uh, of, say, for example, new signups. Um, and again, Zapier makes this super easy to do. So if you click into Project Setting Services in Zapier, uh, we've already got some popular Zap set up. Uh, and so we'll just click Use This Zap. Uh, and then there's a really easy doc that will just explain everything that you need to do, but that's what I'm here for right now to walk you through. Uh, so again, really basic. It's really point and click. So in Go Squared, what we want to say is a user enters a smart group. Uh, and let's just say uh, for the purposes of this, we just want to get uh, a real-time report of any of our new trial users. Continue. Uh, so obviously, again, that's the smart group that we want to use in Trigger. And then it will take us through to uh, Google Sheets, for example. And we just need to select uh, the uh, sheet that we want to send it to. In this case, we'll just uh, pick our uh, Go Squared demo spreadsheet and select the worksheet that you want it to. Uh, and then we'll pull it in. And uh, effectively, that's it. You're ready to go. So um, every time a new user is, uh, joins our site or joins your site, uh, all of that information can be added as a row uh, into uh, a Google Sheet. So you've got a real-time report that's always updating. Um, and it's a really nice example of how easy using something like Zapier is uh, to connect someone like GoSquared that can perform uh, or act as a trigger and uh, a, a whole host of other uh, software providers. So really, pe people is what uh, allows you to provide the data and logic uh, that's needed to communicate to your uh, customers through their trial period. So uh, a really, really handy tool um, that, that uh, we use a lot ourselves here at GoSquared, and, and, and hopefully people can get a lot of value out of when you're using um, uh, our platform. Uh, and so finally, the last thing I want to show before my voice completely cuts out is uh, how you can use GoSquared to delight your customers. Um, so let's go back to our um, demo site. And let's say our, our user is really happy and uh, signed up and he wants to be a paying customer now. So now really what we want to look at is how having a live chat can take your support to another level. So say, for example, a customer uh, has an issue and brings it to your attention. Majority, majority of times they're going to want that resolved as quick as possible. So you could have a support email address or you could have a support ticketing system. But really, what we found is nothing gives uh, a, a user or a customer more peace of mind than someone personally telling them that they're looking into it. And that doesn't necessarily mean you have to resolve their issue there and then, but just having the ability to set expectations, uh, it gives your customers much more peace of mind and allows you to take control of the situation. So like a, a really quick example would be, um, we can jump in and say, hi. I'm having problems with feature X. And then we can obviously jump back in and we'll go into inbox. Again, this is uh, where all of our live uh, chat communication lives. Uh, and so what we have with inbox is the concept of a, a team inbox. So everyone has the ability to view uh, incoming messages. Uh, and it's a really good way to efficiently pick up uh, customer requests. But obviously, you want. Uh, to be able to communicate 
across your team uh, to let them know who's handling things. And a really easy way to do that is by adding one of our notes. So I can just say, uh, uh, Russell's handling this one. Issue. <clears throat> no, so we pop back into our demo site. Uh, James isn't going to see that message. Um, and it's, uh, as I mentioned, live chat just gives us that ability to uh, let James know that I'm looking into this now. We'll get back to you ASAP. And uh, it, it's a really, really nice way uh, to be able to uh, keep your customers engaged and happy. Uh, it's specifically if they have any issues uh, that pop up uh, that, that they are able to communicate with you right away. <laughs> to be more proactive with our customers to keep them engaged. Uh, so what we can do is we can say, jump back to people and we can say, we want to build a smart group of uh, any of our users that have used the new feature. And like one of the really nice ways uh, to, to uh, build relationships with your users and identify kind of really high value users uh, and people are really engaged is to ask for feedback and, and find out how they're finding your platform and specifically like you value their opinion of, of, of new feature releases. So if we click add uh, a filter and we're going to say, uh, tried new use new feature is a custom event that I've uh, passed in for the purposes of this uh, demo and we'll say they've used it more than once <coughs> uh, what we can do is then uh, click action and we can send a broadcast to these people and a broadcast is effectively uh, a chat message that that they will receive the next time that they log in um, but it allows you to be really efficient with uh, your communication by uh, delivering one message to uh, a, a segmented group of users. Uh, so, how have you found our new feature? And you could click preview so you get an idea of how that looks and how it's going to uh, appear when uh, the next time they log in. Uh, and then when you send that through to all of them, as I say, next time they pop in, uh, it will, or well, next time they log in, it will pop up and they'll be able to respond right away. And it is because of being in the context of, of the platform or your, your, your platform as well, or your website, the likelihood of them responding to that opposed to an email is much, much higher. Uh, cause uh, they'll, they'll obviously be in, 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 uh, the relevant space to, to do that. Um, <clears throat> one last thing that, uh, I, I wanted to look at in regards to, um, delighting your customers is. The reality is sometimes people aren't going to bring issues to your attention uh, and, and, and then potentially end up churning. Um, so another way you can be really proactive with GoSquared and, and keep your customers happy is uh, identify users that are likely to churn. Uh, so we can do that really easily. Um, so if we jump back uh, and we go to uh, everyone, we don't need to save this group for now. Um, what we can do is uh, we can find our paying users again. So the easy way of doing this, we'll just say client contains pro, for example. And, and things, we, again, we track out of the box. Uh, we could say um, last seen. And if, for example, they haven't been seen or they haven't signed into our platform uh, in more than 30 days, for example. Uh, let's go a bit bigger than this. 60 days, a couple of months is a big ind indication, depending on your platform, that, that period of time could be bigger or smaller, but it's a big indication that they're no longer using our platform. They might not particularly be happy with it. Um, and so rather than waiting for them to cancel, we can use uh, integrations that we've already set up uh, to either compile a report of them with our Google Sheets integration or, or uh, directly send them an email um, through Drip to say, you know, no, so you haven't logged in in a while. Uh, is there anything we can help you out with? We're missing you quite a bit. And uh, those are really easy, basic ways that you can use GoSquared, uh, both our tools and our integrations to hopefully keep your customers happy and delighted uh, and to stick with you for as long as possible. So um, hopefully that's been a good introduction to our platform. Uh, and hopefully I've given you uh, a good steer as to how you can use uh, GoSquared to turn your site's visitors into signups, uh, convert new prospects into customers, and, and, and delight your customers through exceptional support. So uh, now feel free, if you haven't already, to uh, drop a message into chat. If you have any questions, 
uh, I'd be happy to fill them directly. Uh, if not, please feel free to also drop me an email directly and I can get back to you uh, personally. Uh, my email address is Russell with two S's and two L's. So it's R U S S E W L L at GoSquared.com. So I'll just jump off of the screen share here and I will stop. Ooh. And I will just have a quick look to see if we've had any questions come in. <coughs> Bear with me. Okay, cool. I don't believe that we've got any direct questions just now, but again, as I say, feel free to ping uh, any emails through to me directly or whenever you'd like through live chat. There's always someone here to, to help you out and get back to you. Uh, thanks again for taking the time to tune in uh, and hopefully look forward to see you uh, on Go Squared. Thanks. Bye-bye.